Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Guild 3. This is Razor from Razor's Edge, and this has been my all-time favorite economy, political, city-building game of all time. And I was very happy when I heard that the publishers of T THQ Nordic and Golem Labs, the developers, were going to pick the series back up again. And I couldn't wait for it to get on Steam. Now it's in early access. So just a special note on that. These are two top-notch, both developer and publisher. On their webpage, they already have a link to the store on Amazon with two packages um, for a digital release in second quarter of next year. So they're they're not kidding around that the game will get finished and um, it's at uh, two and three times the cost of, of what we paid for in early access. So, you know, welcome to early access. Um, and I, I am ecstatic to be able to play. Um, they There are some issues with the game. There's things that aren't finished. Um, we are definitely not here to review this game. I just want to cover the features in the game that I've found. Some comparisons to the previous versions of Guild and hopefully find some of them here because that's what made me love the game and uh, maybe show some new players that have never seen this actually how to play if they're confused so I did the entire video and had the mic off <laughs> it was muted I log back out and there's a patch already so they are serious and, uh, I, and hats off to, to both the publisher and the developers so what I want to cover in this is basically the features, um, setting up the game, the options, hop into single player, actually cover as many possible systems as I can in the shortest amount of time. And if anything is misquoted or misleading or I'm just flat out wrong on features, feel free to comment in the video. Um, I welcome it. So. Let's let's jump in. We'll start with options. So as you'll notice, you can turn hints on and off. Those are little pop-ups, tooltips, subtitles. Um, you can use random events. Um, pretty much anything you want to do in here. Camera speeds, um, music and volume, shadow quality, texture, uh, resolution, full screen, window mode. It's all right here. And that's pretty much it for the option. Multiplayer is not available, but I know it's going to be available. And the way I know that is when I went into my load, I see a lot of information about other players. So that that, that should tell you something. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start a new game. I've already actually started and I played quite a while. Plus a tu tu uh, tutorial run through first look that I already did. Um... So I got some game time in, and uh, I didn't even go look and see what the patch addressed. Probably just, hopefully just bug fixes and they didn't throw a whole feature in there that's really going to throw me for a loop. So let's get started with uh, setting up a new game. So when you set up a new game, basically you have the option of three starting areas, and there's a brief description in here of each one. You can select your difficulty mode. I recommend easy if you've never played before. And I did career mode, because uh, poor didn't sound good. I don't want to be poor. So let's go ahead and hit continue. And that's going to throw us into the character creation screen. And wow, that's a lot faster than it was just a one patch ago. I mean, <laughs> night and day. Um, so I can already tell they did some optimization. Um, so you can go ahead and put your name in there. The first name is surname. Uh, you can pick a gender, male or female. There's voices. You I hear they're here. renovating the church. Maybe you should go over and talk to the stonemasons. I'm sure they're still looking for models for the gargoyles. Well, that's a lot more than I wanted. But uh, free game is what I recommend. There are some scenarios in there. Uh, you can pick your skill tree. And for this tutorial, we're going to be a baker. Um, you've got eight points to work with. You can put those into each one of these. And as you'll learn... Um, certain 
um, pieces of this actually are more useful than others, like strength and intelligence. Um, so you could change your facial features. I can change my gender, my hair color, quite a bit there. They're obviously going to be doing more. I can change my flag banner. Go with the little horsey. And we're going to hit play. As you notice, there's no tutorial. And that's okay, because that, that's why I'm doing this. And I'm sure a lot of other streamers will, too. So don't freak out when you're staring at yourself and then you see this slow loading screen. It's building out a lot of information, even on a, a pretty high-end machine. So it didn't take that long. Uh, and, and I got in just fine. About 13 times, 14 times now. So no worries. It's going to give you a nice overhead flyby of the city that you've selected, which is pretty cool. I already see improvements there, too. I don't know what you guys did, but uh, kudos. All right, so I'm going to pick it up when we finally land in front of our shop. So let's cover some of the things we see right now. These are the pop-up tool tips. You can read them as they pop up. This is your shop. This actually is something new, if uh, memory strikes me. I don't remember ever seeing a dual house slash um, uh, business. So that, that was pretty cool when I saw that. Um, looking at my character here, I can see that I'm a resident. That's my social status. My skill, I can actually change some of these if I want to. Um, we, we're going to go ahead and leave everything as it is as a baker. Um, but you can see, you can actually, uh, as they unlock, you can, there's the different levels and titles. And these are going to be important later if you go for public offices. Um, and then your resident status, and that's just basically your experience uh, in your particular trade. Down here is, uh, a, I'm not sure what the 20 is. Uh, it's not, certainly not level 20. Um, there's my flag banner, one of four. Uh, I assume that's one of four. Uh, I'm single, so. Um, and this is my business. If I click on that, let's take a look inside. So you can see inside here. Now, as that in the old guild series, uh, you could actually build on and there'd be a button down here and you click into different parts of the house like the, the cellar, the bakery, uh, the back end shops, um, just different areas as you upgraded your shop and it was kind of a tree that would go across with drop down lines. Um, so they've, they've changed a lot of that and I'll, I'll, I'll actually show you. So under building options, more tooltips. Um, here's your add-ons, and this is just the ones currently now. Um, there's like burglary, fire protection, because uh, people do try to firebomb you, your competitors, people that you don't, they don't like you, maybe they, they want to run you out of office, and additional storage space. Um, these are the things that we can make right now with the ingredients required for each one. Um, these are some of the statistics of the business, which we'll see populate later on how well we're doing as far as our expenditures on raw materials versus our product that we're pushing out. Um, hire henchmen, I, I, that didn't work right away. That They used to guard your businesses in the older series. Uh, maybe that's something not in, or I'm just not high enough yet. I don't know. Same thing with workers. I, I have not seen where I can pick up a worker. Um, transportation, there are trade routes, um, as a footman, I don't see a lot here, but maybe when I can afford a cart and a horse, which are no longer part of an upgrade in the building, but actually at the, uh, market. So I'll show you that in a little bit. So let's, uh, get rid of that. Oh, get rid of it all. <laughs> let's go back into our building mode. So, as we can see here, I'm really having trouble getting rid of that trade route. There we go. Alright, so here's the material. So I've got two and one, so I'm only going to be able to make one of these. Oh, uh, I don't even see Razor in here. So let's go back outside, because he obviously needs to come into the building. Let's click on him. As you can see, as options, I can send him home, which will put him in the building. And I can send him to the market. Uh, you can also enter the building yourself. 
Um, he has an urgent um, that doesn't really do anything right now unless I click on something else. Sometimes I'll see our urgent pop up. You've got social activities. I can go up and greet someone. Good. And that's just basically building rapport with each person. That's going to be important, especially in politics. Uh, you want to try to stay on everyone's good side. Over here are your notices. You can turn these all off um, or all on depending on what you want to see. Random events or dynasty, things that aren't important to you, especially if you're not going to participate in the politics. Sometimes it's nice to see what the tax rates are going to be set at with the new leadership. Um, you've got aggressive actions. Those do come with consequences. You'll be considered a criminal. And you can give someone gifts if you want to go buy some perfume or something at the sh at the uh, market and give it, especially when you're trying to court. And we'll talk about family tree later on. So, uh, click on Razor and let's tell him to actually go home. Yes! Alright. So we can do this from inside or outside. And basically, just to queue up, we can click on here yes. and then put that in there. And why is it stop production? There it goes. Cheese toast. Didn't give it time. So you can see the ticker will go across. I am the only worker, so I'm the only one that's going to be producing anything right now. And we'll wait till that's done. Mostly because that bird loop was annoying. Let's get away from those birds. Alright, so we can move this storage into our own inventory. As you can see here, I can actually unload that and put it back. That's nice if you're coming across, if you're uh, out somewhere and then just click there, click return home. Same thing with your route. You can go ahead and pick your route back up. And seriously, we got to get away from these birds. And then I can send Certainly. them to the market. Yeah, this is what I was doing before. So you can't actually trade this far from the market. So what I did, if you click over here, oh, not there, not yet, not ready to show that. Over to buildings, these are buildings. Now these are the long distance ones. These are good for trade routes. Uh, you can see how the route is shipping, it's at home or over in that city. We're gonna turn those off for right now. And we're going to go over to the market. We can do that by just double clicking on it. Oh, nope. All right, let's cover these while we're at it. These are all the businesses that are out there right now. Horticulture, something like a bee farm. More loud birds. Cemetery. Those are really good for people that grieve their dead. Uh, and actually, that ties into the church, which is uh, was a profession in the other... Um, guild series. So, let's see. What are we looking for? We want to go to... No. Ah, Marketplace. So, if we double-click over here, and then we just click on Razor, now we can send him over to the merchant. Somewhere. Why? He's still doing that to me. Seriously. He's being a bugger. Alright, exit the building. How about that? Alright, now. Potatoes? What are Dude, potatoes? Walk I'm over the edible. Here. <laughs> I'd like to know as I'm very hungry. Again, guys, early access. And all these things, the videos, the comments. I would like to see a bug section on the forums or uh, some type of a, a website we can go to to report that. Boy, we're not going to get away from this bug or birds. Let's just move out a little bit. And we can actually double click on Razor and we can watch him running. Of course, he's already there now, so that's kind of useless. Now let's send him to the Cheese market. Cheese toast? Alright. Oh. I forgot the... Anyway, I, so if I would have picked up that porridge, I could have taken that from my inventory and put that over here and, and sold it for a profit. That was pretty sad. Um, let's go ahead and cover some of these features over here. So within the market, you can interact here. These are the things that you can... Let, let me get some distance away from that. Um, click... 
Oh, come on. Don't make me do it. Alright, good. Thank you. So these are some of the materials, and you can sort them out by type. Right now we're looking at all. There's your horse, cart, wagon, storage. These are the bakery goods. Looks like honey. In fact, it is. Hopefully this is some of the foods we'll be able to make later on as a baker. Um, I know we can build a win uh, wheat. Uh, I'll show you those buildings later, but a, a, a mill. Um, some armor items. And some tools, torches, um, some talismans. Typically those do warding um, from diseases. Um, and they're also for vanity, especially for public office, and they're great gifts. So, here you can click on some of those. You can see them if you sort them out and what they do. There's a pest juice. Kind of handy. So, let's take a look at the public buildings real quick. So, there's the Archbishop. Now, a minute ago, that wasn't working. Let's see if it still gives me that same pop-up. Yeah, it does. I can just hit escape. Now, uh, how did I get out of that last time? Oh, I forgot. This is annoying. Hold on, let me pause, because I can't remember how I got out of it. It's another bug. Went away on its own. All right, so obviously that feature isn't working right now. Marketplace we already saw. Let's go to St. Helens. That's the church. Um, you currently can't go into the church, but there are some drop-down boxes. I'm not sure what these do yet. I will find out. It used to be in the old series, you'd go and sit on the benches and attend a sermon. A uh, great place to go find a prospect wife, because, um, you know, you want a good uh, Catholic wife. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, let's see, what else here? We have a school. And, uh, I think that's the school. Nope, Citizen's House. There's the school. And, really, uh, can't do anything with that now. Mason. Oh, there's the school. Sorry. And I assume these are just drag-in drop-downs. Um, I, I don't know yet, or they may not be implemented. Uh, it used to be a trained... A, in uh, the older guild, you'd send your kids when they were old enough off to school and you'd pay a fortune. Um, and they'd come back with uh, some skills and you could pick the traits and blah, blah, blah. Let's see. City Hall. This is where all the magic happens currently. Okay. Currently, it's not really doing anything but showing you this, but in the older series you'd actually go in there there was a courtroom uh where they would hold proceedings um so we'll go ahead and take a look at that now um uh, no across the top let's just go right across so again we saw the skills there's a quest book which really didn't have anything in it yet there's a diary you can change your flag there as well Dynasty book shows you all the different dynasties, and you can look at all commoners, the citizens. Uh, these are people that are up and coming, so you're going to want to try to, you know, um, rise up to them. Uh, we're a citizen ourselves. There's the commoners, and then the nobles, and currently there are none here. I'm not sure. Oh, it has me as a resident. So these are the stat statutes or statutes you have to have to actually hold office. Um, and again, I'm purely going off the old guild system, so there could be changes to that down the in uh, their roadmap, which is going to be posted on this video. So here's some of the social classes. These are the uh, different guilds. Um, there's like a merchant's guild, uh, circle of warlocks, uh, Freemasons, Craftsman's Guild, uh, several different you can belong to, and you can be leaders of those, and those actually help you with your offices as well. Budget book. Oh, we actually made 10. I don't know how, but we did. And then these are all the positions. So currently, um, I don't know if this is functioning yet, but you can actually run for office. You just go to the... Um, 
City Hall and you'd apply for the position. I, I, I didn't see any of this working yet. Um, uh, let's see. I was just trying again since there was a patch, but um, I, I don't I don't really see it. I can. Did that put me in there? No. Nope. So I don't. I don't think I. I probably don't even meet the qualifications. That's fine. So let's see, I got everything up there. There's your money. That shows how much money you have. Um, what else can we cover? Uh, you can get to the menu here. The only thing I noticed, you you can't go back to the main menu. You can save and load, and I do know all of those function correctly. Um, Dynasty members versus just me. Um, your transports, if you had carts and wagons, you could control them from here. And then there's a, a book. It's, a, it's kind of a log. Most of it just says this game's awesome, but there are some notes in there that you probably want to read through. Um, which brings me, before it gets too dark, let's go ahead and, uh, click on our home. Good. We'll send Razor home. I want to double click on Nothing him and show you. Work. Actually follows him. Um, and while he's running home, I want to talk about, um, your heritage. So, one of the objectives of this game is to actually court and get a wife to marry you. Um, and have children. Because they're actually going to not only continue your legacy, but they can also run for office, run other businesses, work in your businesses, or break off on their own. So it, it's actually quite nice. Um, so we're going to click on him now and tell him to go Wonderful. to bed. Wonderful! Finally some work! <laughs> work. He calls me. And there's the bell marking the end of the day, which is pretty convenient. So these are little notes that pop up. They'll tell you about events that are going on around the world. You can read those at your leisure. I think I talked about that already, and you can filter those out as well. Uh, there's a bird's eye view. You can kind of uh, look around from... I don't know how I'm doing that from my sleep, but um, when you're outside, it's kind of handy uh, just to, to get a first-person look at people. There's a map. Um, you can zoom in, scroll around, um, see the different towns, areas, uh, everything's highlighted with names. As you zoom in, it's pretty easy to see where they're at, where you're at. Um, I don't know if it shows your trade routes in progress or not yet. Um, that was something that was definitely uh, in the past. And I just heard coin drop. I'm glad it wasn't mine. What are they doing here? Uh-oh. Is it a petition? That's something else you'll see, too. People will riot. There's all kinds of random events that happen in this game that keep it really interesting. People setting houses on fire, murdering each other. It's uh, crazy. Craziness. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is the buildings. So, these are the different buildings you have, and I'm sorting under all... You've got the butchery, and these are all based on those skills that I we, we showed at the beginning there. Um, if I was a farmer, and these are the upgrade stages. It used to be you'd actually click on the house, and you'd upgrade it. Now, I'm not sure if that works, or if you have to build it somewhere else. So, we'll have to find out from the roadmap how that's going to work. Um, but they have, like, inn. You know, it starts out as a pub, then a tavern, and inn. And all those just give you more features, more protection. I'm actually eligible for a windmill. Yeah, sorry about that dog. I live in a zoo and not a recording studio. So these buildings that are lit up here, these are windmill. Uh, the, I can actually build that if I wanted to. And you could pick a spot uh, that it lets you build. We have a bake shop. These are the progressions that we want to work up to. Again, I don't know if I can upgrade the building that I have or if I have to build another one. So that's something we'll have to find out as we play. Uh, weaving and clothing. And then, of course, you got your smugglers and thieves' dens, libraries, printing shops. Uh, these are good for scrolls, foundries, smiths. 
Um, you can also sort by buildings for sale, businesses, um, other, which is like a warehouse. Um, and then these are the different houses by class. So you start out in these types of houses. Of course, our houses are store, but eventually we may want to build ourselves a mansion when we become rich. So those are nice features in the game as well. And that's where you host, uh, at least in the old series, you would host parties and things like that. So I know that was a really quick tutorial and a, a lot of information. Um, I plan to do some coverage videos as the patches come out. Like I said, they patched while I was doing a recording with no audio because I was muted. Um, so they're actively working on this and listening to user feedback and uh, kudos to the developers. Um, I'm glad I made the purchase. I look forward to the development. I definitely look, I'm glad I'm not going to have to pay uh, 60 bucks for, for this uh, when it comes out in full release next year or whenever you uh, release it because actually you were not going to post this up till what? Two more hours, so. And I've been playing it for several hours, so. Um, can't, can't say enough great things uh, about the uh, publisher I have full confidence that they're they're going to make this game right, and it's going to be a solid title, and it's going to stand up to the legacy of, of the Guild series that, that I've fallen in love with over the years, and hopefully it will you too. So, again, this wasn't a review. This was just an overview for new players and maybe some old players that um, are kind of struggling with the new interface because there are some changes. I'm still trying to figure them all out. Um, and then maybe some gameplay issues with some incompatibilities with machines. So hopefully we can get those posted up and get those worked out. Um, anyway, that's going to end this video. Uh, at least this one. I plan on doing a lot of coverage on this as the patches come out and the content. Um, because um, I well love this game. And uh, I love this series. And uh, you guys have a great day. And seriously post comments in the thread of the video um, visit the YouTube site uh, hit subscribe cover, cover several indie games and that's the reason I'm covering this game and, and they're doing it under an indie title so um, that's that's actually why I, one of the reasons why I picked it to review and I bought it so um, anyway as always you guys have a super day, and thanks for watching this video. This is Razor from Razor's Edge. Until next time, I'll see you when I see you. Be good now. Happy sailing.